What up my headphone homies? It's Jason here from Custom Cans and look at this mighty fine pair of headphones I have. Why, is that a one-off pair of Sundara Closebacks you say? Well yes it is. <laughs> and if you would like this uh, one-off pair of Sundara Closebacks we'll be giving them away later in the video. Just to say a thank you because we're up to like 5,000 subs. It's been really nice to have you guys aboard and I think someone deserves to get a pair of these. So just in case you're wondering, basically what we did was we primed and prepped them in the spray booth. Then they've been gilded with 24 karat gold leaf, gradually built up and then we've made custom water slide decals for this and they're just going through a process of lacquering at the moment. Uh, I've just put these back together for the video but they're going to have to go back into the spray booth, have a bit more, a few more coats of lacquer just to build up that shine so they're going to be super shiny uh, when they're finished. We'll be giving away one of our new graphene coated lits cables or, or whichever, whatever cable you want, we'll, we'll make you a cable to go with them. So if you do win, just let us know what connections you've got, what style of cable you want. We'll We'll make that for you, so you get a pair of headphones, you get some of our fancy cables. This is part two of the Hi-Fi Man Sundara Closed video series, which we'll be doing. And in this one, we'll be we'll be comparing the sounds. So in the first one, we pulled them apart, saw how they were made, had some initial thoughts on them. This time, I'm going to be comparing them to some other headphones. And I've also been wearing a pair of these for about a week, just out and about, doing my normal stuff, just to kind of get used to the sound and give you some impressions. So yeah, so if you're interested in how they compare, hopefully I'm going to cover that in this video, but if you've got any questions, stick them in the thing and I'll, I'll get straight back to you. I'll see if I can, uh, see if I can do that. So without further ado, uh, it's, a, it's a bit hot under these lights, so I may have to uh, remove the jacket. It's a nice jacket. It's a nice jacket. But anyway, uh, back in a minute. Hoping this this time to go through a bit more of the, the way they sound, because a lot of people asked, uh, we're going to take some measurements that kind of thing, and I'm going to compare them to a couple of other pairs of headphones because I've been living with these for about a week, I've been wearing them around, that kind of stuff, so I could get a feel for them and also let the kind of the diaphragm loosen up a little bit because it has got moving parts in there and the, they, you know, when they first come out of the factory they're going to be probably a bit tight and then need to loosen up as they, they wear in and it'd be quite interesting. So I took some initial measurements on this pair when they came in we'll measure them again after they've had a good few hours use and we'll see if anything has changed as the diaphragm's loosened up. Okay, where, where, shall, I, where shall I start? Basically, I've, I've been using these in all kinds of situations where you would want to use a closed pair of headphones. I've been listening to just music at my desk and stuff as well, but I've used them while walking around. Uh, I got Jay, I was teaching James, our technician, how to beat match on some turntables, so we used it for a bit of mixing, that kind of stuff. And uh, the isolation is really good. I nearly got run over a couple of times while, re while wearing these, uh, just walking out into the road not hearing cars coming. So that, that's good, that, that works. On a, on a side note, while walking around, some things that I noticed. If it's windy, you do get a bit of wind noise coming through the arms here. So as the wind blows over it, you get a bit of wind noise in there. And also this cable is quite microphonic. So kind of as it smashes against your clothes, it transfers that sound into here. The socket is actually supported by the driver. So it is ideal for transferring sound from the cable to the headphones. So that is a little bit annoying. Yes, yeah, so if you are using these walking around, I would probably swap the cable out for something slightly less microphonic. Maybe check out some of the range from Custom Cans. I've heard that they're very good and uh, reasonably priced for the very high spec that they are. Links in the description. Compared to the original Sundaras, these ones are much easier to drive. So if you are walking around and you're running this off a phone without a DAC or something like that, you can power these off a, off a decent mobile phone with a headphone socket. And whereas these ones are going to be a bit quiet, probably, definitely easier to drive my thoughts on the sound. Now then initially I was comparing them to the open back Sundaras because I thought that was probably you know a, a good place to start and the Sundaras do just have a bit more magic in the top end it's all open and airy and there's uh, there's just something a bit special and delicate about the about the high end on these but they lack bass really I think it well I've seen the charts for these and they sort of roll off 80 60 hertz something like that they start to roll off Whereas the Sundara Closebacks are very different headphone, very different sounding. The bass is immense on these. It drops down really low and you've got loads and loads of detail. Like you can hear textures and detail in the bass where other headphones might just sound a bit, you know, it's just some low noises. Whereas this you can actually hear the, you know, the nuances going on down below. And then the mids are a little bit forwards on this. So vocal stuff like that. It's a bit in your face. It's quite, it's like someone singing right in front of you, which is unusual, which will be interesting to look at on the graph to see if we can see why that is. So these ones more, more kind of laid back. Uh, when you're listening, these ones are a little bit shouty, especially at higher volumes. The treble 
is one thing that I think changed over time. When I first got these out of the box, they sounded a little bit, a little bit dull. Didn't have quite as much sparkle in the high end as I wanted. But as they, as I wore them, I don't know whether I was getting more used to the sound or whether you got a little bit more detail in the in the treble. But yeah, I, certainly after after about a week, I'm starting to appreciate the, the the treble on them. But it's not not as good as those. But this is not probably a fair comparison because these are open back, these are closed back. You're going to make some sacrifices. So I've also been listening to the DT1770, which is in the same kind of price range. And what surprised me is because before I was I had a set of 1770s, my daily driver, and I was always very impressed with the bass on these. But these are even better. Like the bass is just deep and it's got lots of quality. It's just a shame about the mids being a bit too far forwards. And the bayers have a bit more sparkle in the high end. But yeah, the, I think there's more sort of detail and accuracy from these. There's just something weird going on around the around the kind of vocal range. While I'm here, I'm just going to compare them to these uh, these HE 400s, which we've been messing around with, because I was always super impressed with these. Uh, let's have a listen. Sorry, just refreshing my refreshing my memory there. So, so listening listening to these these headphones, uh, yeah, definitely the the bass is really really good on these. You've got lots of detail, lots of accuracy. You can hear nuances and textures in the bass on these that you probably can't in the others, especially like the Sundara, they roll off definitely. They're more geared towards the mids and the highs. The bass kind of rolls off a little bit on those. Uh, originally when I got the HE 400s, that was one thing I noticed on that. They were lacking a bit of low end something or other, which is why I started this project, where I was modifying them. And uh, I'm really happy with the tonal balance on those. Those are, those are well balanced. Still think the bass is possibly a little bit better on these, but these the, the Achilles heel of this is the, the mid-range, so the vocal range. There seems to be some kind of peak or something in the mid-range which is making the, the vocals sound a little bit too far forwards. It's not quite as balanced as I would like. Like those ones, as I said, they roll off in the bass but it feels kind of balanced and cohesive. Whereas this, the mids are just a little bit far forwards. So it'd be interesting to see if swapping out some pads or something like that could maybe tone that down a little bit or, um, or if I was going to retune these I would probably go for a bit more treble so bring the bring the treble up a bit so this, th these these would be amazing with a bit of EQ so if you could drop down where, wherever the peak is in the in the mid-range I reckon the rest of it would be really good yeah so the Bayers which I think is, is probably a more fair comparison they're a similar kind of price and both closed back these again, Bayer tend to put a little bit more sparkle in the treble, so you've got a peak at about 8k on these, which can make them a little bit uh, sibilant. Which again, you might find with the Sundaras, if you find these a little bit fatiguing over time, then these might be better because it's a bit warmer, more bassy kind of headphone. But yeah, I feel that the the tonal balance on the mids and the highs are probably a bit better than this. But I'm I'm on the I don't I, I think I don't like mid forward headphones. It's something that doesn't doesn't do it for me because uh, I've tried some other headphones that were like that and it just kind of sport the listening experience a little bit like these ones aren't I'm, I'm being very fussy about this you know if, I'm sure if you hadn't listened to the others you'd be very impressed with these but yeah it's just like the mids are better on the open back Sundara and the and the DT 1770 so I hope that vaguely explains it um stick some questions down below I don't normally I'm not very good at explaining the sound I listen I know what I like I know what I don't like I know what I need to tweak but actually describing it I'm not so great at so what we're going to do is we're going to stick them on the test rig now run some graphs and see what we are looking at Okay, so taking a load of measurements and then we can kind of compare them and see what's going on between the different headphones. So first of all, so this is the graph that I've taken from the Sundara closed. So as you can see, they don't drop off at all in the base. I've measured it all the way down to zero, but this chart only shows 20 to 20. But yeah, they're pretty flat down to about 10 hertz and then they roll off. And then you have got this weird little dip in a lump uh, about 250, that's 300 hertz, which is right in the vocal range so that could be what's uh, kind of throwing me out. I think what makes it more pronounced is you've got a little dip before it at about 200 and you've got a, uh, it drops down afterwards between sort of 4 and 500 so it makes the peak around 250 300 seem more pronounced and then again the treble is pretty in line with everything so it's 
relatively flat, which is probably why you don't get as much sparkle. So I know certainly with the bear dynamics, they tend to have a bit of a peak in the treble somewhere that gives them that, that sparkle. Yeah, because the bass is so flat all the way down, you don't get any that muddiness or anything that you get on some on some headphones. So it's a, it's a mixed bag, you know. But what is interesting is, uh, as I said, I took a measurement when they were fresh out the box as well. So we'll compare fresh out the box to worn in a bit. So the blue line is broken in one and the green line is the fresh out of the box. And you do actually get a little bit more. So up around the sort of 10K and 7K, you get a few more decibels, which is possibly why it kind of brought out some of that treble a little bit after after a bit of listening. But the, the peak in the mid range, if anything, has got more noticeable after after letting them wear in a bit. Yeah, certainly if I was, if I, had an EQ. I don't generally EQ stuff. I generally mod headphones. That's just me. I enjoy that. I would definitely sort of 250 to 300, bring that down a few decibels. What is it? We've got a, it's a nearly nearly five decibel peak on there. So I'd bring that down a little bit, and that should flatten out the mid range a little bit. And I might bring up the treble, you know, a little bit. Especially uh, what are we looking at? So we've got quite a quite a big dip, probably around. 15k something like that so bring that up a bit maybe get a bit more sparkle in the very high end so that's that so uh, so now what i'll do is i'll get up the sundaras and again i've got two graphs which is which is quite interesting this shows the sundaras in orange and the closed in blue and these are normalized to 300 hertz so uh, 300 yeah so both of them are the same volume at 300 hertz so you can kind of line them up and as you can see, uh, definitely flatter around the mid range in the in the original Sundaras. And uh, yeah, the Sundaras stay pretty flat right across. So you've got a lot more treble. You don't have the dips in the treble quite so much on the Sundaras, but they do then drop off quite noticeably after probably 70 hertz. They they drop off, and uh, so that's why you don't get that sub bass and the the, the kind of punch in the low end that you that you do from the close back so i would recommend buying both <laughs> you kind of need both what i really want is to be able to get this and this and create a, 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 uh, if you can have the bass from these ones mid-range and treble from these ones that'd be a monstrous headphone uh, so i might have some more work to do i might have to start fiddling with these and see if i can squeeze a bit out of them because they like certainly with the he 400 se's i managed to get get some good results with those. Right, so, as I said, sorry, getting sidetracked. As I said, uh, what I'll do is I'll also show the Sundara closed not normalized. So these are basically just taken at the same volume on the amplifier. So you can see how much difference that makes. Uh, open. All right, so what I've done here is I've, the, the open ones are green, the closed ones are blue. And as you can see, the closed ones at the same setting on the amplifier are just much much louder so it just makes them much easier to drive especially if you run them from a portable device something like that they are definitely more efficient get more sound out of them at the same volume so that that's quite interesting yeah so if you are using them for portable it's good for that kind of thing you can plug them into a phone and get a decent volume out of them next let's get the 1770 up and we'll compare that so here's the dt 1770 which used to be almost the kings of bass but as you can see here, the bass is still flatter on the on the Sundara closed, and again the the Bayers have got a bit of a peak in the in the kind of vocal range. They they have a peak around sort of 350 hertz, but then it's it doesn't drop off just afterwards, which might may, mean that why well, it doesn't feel quite so so pronounced. And you've also got uh, a bit more in the kind of treble range. So if you look around the 7 8K, yeah, you've got more filled in around the treble. You've got less big dips in the treble and it's a little bit higher which is what gives it that sparkle but some people find that a little bit fatiguing over time so i know the 1770 aren't aren't perfect and then just for fun we'll put on the he 400se's which i've done all the work on just to compare compare those as well such a winner um <laughs> So uh, on this one, the brown line is the HE400SE and the blue line is the closed back. 
So as you can see, again, I've managed to get the base flat all the way down on the HE400 SE. And again, they don't have the peak in the middle. It stays pretty much flat from 20 hertz all the way up to 800 hertz. Uh, then you get a little dip in the middle and then it goes back up, which uh, makes that treble seem a little bit more pronounced just because you haven't got the, the upper mids kind of uh, overpowering it. And also I'm old, so you lose a little bit of hearing up at the top, so you need a bit of, bit of help <laughs> hearing that. So so yeah, so I'm still very happy with these. These are still possibly my favorite headphone, budget headphones. I did get to have a listen to some of the Abyss AB1266 Phi at the at Can Jam in London. And genuinely, it's the first pair of headphones that I've put on and gone like, that's about right. Yeah, I, I wouldn't change a thing. Uh, I was really happy with those. So uh, yeah, so it's interesting. So these are getting these are getting close, close to perfect. Uh, but those those ones, I think, you know, if I if I was baller and I had loads of money, I'd buy some of those. So, um, so this is the bit you've been waiting for, the uh, the giveaway. And uh, if you've skipped ahead, that's fine. Uh, hello, welcome aboard. And you you missed the rest. Don't worry, it was just going through some measurements. It wasn't that exciting. Um, but yes, yeah, so these are a one-off pair of Sundara clothes back in 24 karat gold with a one-off design. They're not quite finished yet. I, they need a few more coats of lacquer and stuff, but I've got a couple of weeks to do that before we give them away. So we're going to be giving these away. Uh, we're going to choose the winner in two weeks time. And the rules are as follows. So it will be given away to one of our subscribers. So you must be subscribed, we will be checking. Because uh, it's to try and just thank thank people that have, that have supported us. What you're gonna have to do is basically just leave a comment down below and say you want them. And, uh, and then we'll pick a name out of the hat. But there are rules to this, and uh, because we've done a, done a couple of giveaways before. And the problem is, People put in loads of sob stories and stuff, and I feel for I feel for everybody. But I I don't want to be depressed when I read the comments. I want something that's going to cheer me up. So uh, and also you feel bad because you're like, oh, I, do, do I give it to the guy whose dog just exploded or what? You know, ah. Oh. So I, I don't I don't want the, the hassle of that. So please don't. I, you know, I'm I'm sure you've got stuff going on, but it's nothing to do with headphones. Make me laugh. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, just stick a comment, say why, say why you would like them, tell us something interesting you might do with them. I don't know. We're just going to read through the comments, we're going to find our top 10 favourite comments, we're going to stick those names in a hat, and then we're going to draw those names out of the hat live on the next video, which will be in a couple of weeks' time. So, quick update on the third pair of the. So, we've got this one, which is going to be our experimental one. Uh, I'm going to be doing some mods on these to see if I can make them sound more like I want to listen to. It's not necessarily for everybody, but I want to have a bit of a tweak, see what changes I can make, and I'm absolutely fascinated. I don't know if you watched the last video, but the, the, the amount of tuning that went on in the driver, I'm, I'm fascinated to know what all that does. So I'm basically going to try and rip it out bit by bit, take measurements, find out what bits do what, and then see, shh, find my own solution. And the third pair has been prepped in white and taken over to Suarez Modern Art. Now, uh, we went to his studio the, day, the other day, it was amazing. We walked around, we saw all of his paintings, he showed us where he did all the artwork, all that kind of stuff. And he's going to do a, a, a one-off design on those, uh, completely unobtainium, like you won't be able to buy them. And we're going to be raffling those off for the Music Works, which is a charity in Gloucester, which helps uh, underprivileged and disabled people make music. So basically they've got a state of the art, they've got state of the art studios and recording facilities there with all the proper professional gear and software and all that kind of stuff. But they give access to people with, with very little funds. I think you can hire a studio for like 25 pounds an hour with a, with a technician. Uh, so it's, it's, it's an amazing project because I think a lot of people are barred from making beautiful music just because of the, the, the cost. The, the, the cost in, costs involved. So they're a charity which just, just helps anyone that wants to make music, make it in a professional, top quality studio with all the all the right gear for next to no money. They give people help. Really, really good charity. But obviously, all of that stuff's expensive and uh, we want to get them as much money as possible. So if you fancy helping out a charity and also possibly winning a one-off pair of headphones, which is going to be incredibly valuable with, a, <laughs> with some very valuable art on them. Yeah, stick around for the next video, which is going to be in a couple of weeks. We've got a bit more bit more shooting to do. I've got to fiddle around with those. So if you've got any other questions, stick them in the thing down below and I will try and get back to you. I'm getting the, getting to grips with these now. I, I, I know them pretty well. 
Oh yeah, or anything that you'd like to see in the next video, let me know and I'll try and get that as well. So uh, in the last one, someone did ask about the wires in here. I'm very sorry, I forgot to pop out a driver, but I'll get that, I'll get that in the next one. So anyway, it's been super awesome hanging out. It's been really interesting having a listen to all of these and compare them and try and describe the sound. I'm not, I'm not great at describing sound, but uh, it's been, it's been interesting. Um, and uh, yeah, anyway, always, it's lovely to hang out with you guys as always, and uh, I will, I will see you again.